Rise and shine, my name is Lazy Gamer, and welcome to the Crooked Man, an old mother goose rhyme turned into a creepy pasta. The original rhyme was, uh, there was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. The word crooked now means nothing to me. I'm pretty sure it's not even a word. But I don't remember a whole lot about it because this is one of those games everyone played back in, you know, early days of YouTube yore. But here we are. It was on sale. And I've been kind of playing a lot of the older YouTube games anyway. So I just wanted to try it, okay? So we're going to press start. There we go. Also, it's probably old RPG maker things. So this is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So refrain from playing it if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the... Oh. There was a crooked man... And he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Things are finally looking tidy in here. That should be... It, da, da, da. <laughs> I just woke up. Reading's a little hard. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. It's one of those times where I hate having a mechanical keyboard as playing these kinds of games. I can't use WASD. One second, then. Alright, there we are. Because if I if I don't, my up key is my mute on Discord, and you'll hear that every 12 seconds. An old TV. Cupboards. Cupboards. A refrigerator. Cupboard. Wait, is that what cupboard is? I've never known how to spell it. Is it cupboard? A sink. David, you're full of majesty and wisdom. Huh? Sheesh. Jo Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him before if he's still... I, I should get... Ah! Guys, you forgot your license! Hmm? What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know? And not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Now I'm hurt and sad. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Yeah, screw him and his legal drive. Oh my sweet god, you're loud. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Don't call me Shirley. The phones are coming from inside the shitty apartment. I'll just call it a day. I could take it easy for my- I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Yeah, it's been a hard day. You moved nothing in. Man, I'm all sorts of... of I'm tired in all sorts of ways. It's, the English does not flow, but that's also because I'm partially illiterate. <laughs> Excuse me? Who's crying in my house? <laughs> really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. If you start crying, then I'm gonna start crying. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. I, I should go ask. Hey, are you sobbing uncontrollably? Please shut the hell up. I'm trying to rest. Are you crying in there? A washing machine. Don't want to go. That's much- I didn't ask your opinion. Is this also my room? You know, this apartment's a lot better than I thought if this is all my room. Oh. I should go talk to them. Knocking gets no response. Knocking gets no response. 
knocking, I assume it's no- Ooh, I can save? I'm gonna save every 12 seconds then. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just- I can hear you from my room. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Was I just imagining a sad man? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Was I just imagining a sad man being upset? What a what a weird what a weird thing to specifically imagine. Also, that is all. You just gonna keep going. All right. Is it the sink? Yikes! The water is the faucet busted. These sound effects are very hmm. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about him bad taste. Da that damn Paul coming over at like 3 a.m. Just spooking me. Just spooking me. I'm under your bed. Ooh, I need to move this glass. I can hear my voice ringing off of it. I think. I don't know. What's under the bed? I I'm not going to check under the bed. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm. Found something? Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? The former tenant leave this? And leave me a note on this board? And get pranked by Paul who just so happened to leave me a note there? Yeah, this is all just lining up perfectly, David! It's back! You realize you have like a one foot crack in your wall that demons can just crawl out of. That sounds still? Where's that coming from? Give me a break, I need sleep. Why? Oh, it's daylight now. Yes? Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean, just, I'm busy with work, so, I was sleeping in my, what looks to be green jeans in my dress shirt that looks kind of like the one I'm wearing, huh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll come visit today, tell her that for me, okay, bye. Man, I slept in till noon? I better go, so much for taking it easy. A box of tissues. There's a large crack in the wall. An old TV. Cupboards. Hey, hey, there he is. Paul, what is it? Y yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Yeah, oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Whoa! Whoa, thanks! So you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Hmm? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. We have to go the same direction, so now we're gonna awkwardly walk side by side till we get to the ground floor, but... All right, weird sound effects are weird. Did she use flatline? Mom, it's been a while, are you okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much, I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too, so when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. 
Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery that other day. the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M my get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. That's sad. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, Davy. Please. Mom, it's me! Remember! Mom! David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. B but she said my- I said leave. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives! Time to go. Time to go. Time to- Hello. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she doesn't know me. Yeah. Yes. She's forgotten many things. She's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I, I hope you can help her. That's really sad and depressing. If, you're, like, if your family got to a point where they don't even remember who you are anymore, it's just, what do you do with that? Especially when it's something, I assume, is like dementia, where you can't control it. Hello? Somebody move my couch. What the hell was that noise? Can I go to bed again? I didn't, anything was, I didn't notice anything being moved. I don't know what that is. Bookshelf, hardly anything. A coat hanger. I'm a little hungry. Hello? A bathtub. A washing machine. Can I check the mirror again? A wash basin. What was moved? An empty trash. I'm gonna save. It has been a time. It's been a whole eight minutes since I last saved. Refrigerator. Anything. Anything. Was there something missing I'm not noticing? Was that back in the hallway maybe? No reason to go out. I, I guess it wasn't. Don't want to go. You got to go eventually, man. It's been quite a while. I haven't seen you do it since you moved in yesterday. Wait, did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Yeah, that's it. He left a couple pieces of paper behind. It's, I shouldn't have any... It's the phone again! Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> you saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call me if you ever get lonely, okay? You trying to come over? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need I I don't need her to worry. I don't need her worry. She should just look after herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See ya. That was awkward. It's a very awkward phone call. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna be a dick, I suppose I'll just leave. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. I'm sorry. You're just gonna do that right in front of me, right in an old TV. Yeah, it's on. I don't like it. I don't like it. What? Why did it turn itself on? Is it is it broken? Sink. Ah! 
What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Alright, let's go to the sink and take a look. A wash basin. Oh, that's right. That's not a sink. That is a wash basin. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence, but a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat and with a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Is this a mother goose run? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... I Many times you can assume the tenant left everything. So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. Yeah, just blood on your TV screen. Just turned on by itself. I, I best get a slumber. Me moving for a change of pace, huh? I guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marin's help. Marion's? Pretty sure it's Marin's. From Dragon Ball. Help, but... But I'm just a terrible friend. There's gonna be more crying tonight. Any more sobbing? Yep. Sobbing. Crying. Is that a kid I hear? This late at night. And what kid would live in these beat-up apartments? At least you acknowledge that your apartment kind of sucks. Maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course. That's my responsibility as a good Samaritan. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Ow. Something broke. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Yeah, that's all. W wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spelling out, you, you gotta be... The room is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? I, you know, just your regular old haunted apartment, you know, and not a big deal, NBD. I'm just going to keep on living here. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, um, was up all night. I got to ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. We will not do that right now, because this is just getting started. I actually don't know how long this game is going to be, but I'll probably try to keep it between 15 and 20 minutes each, just so it's... It has plot, but you don't have to sit here and devote a quarter of your day to it, so... This is where I'm going to leave this episode today. I hope you're all enjoying. I think we need another series on the channel, so I figure why not a short-ish one. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like The Crooked Man, be sure to subscribe, ring that bell button, and... What is my outro? And if you want to read my words and follow my face, all of those links are in the description below me, and I'll see all you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. It's been a while since I've watched or played any of these kinds of RPG Maker games. Let's see if the scares hold up.